So what you can see here is my custom built Pentium 4 PC and uh, upgraded hard drive in it. And uh, yeah, I was going to make a video about this actually, but I kind of forgot to charge up my iPhone and um, yeah, the battery ran down and I didn't really want to redo this just for, you know, capturing it again. And after I was just putting a hard drive in the system and that isn't so, you know, crazy interesting. Uh, this is this here. I re rearranged my setup a little bit. This power mag doesn't belong here. It just is here at the moment, but it will be gone actually. Uh, moved around the other side of the room. Uh, this is the machine with this stupid case. Probably never gonna change that case because it's not worth it. Um, unless you get a free one, of course, because I hate that case. It's such a piece of crap. Yeah, but here you can see maybe the hard drive, the new one. Yeah, you can't see it at all. There you go. Here's the hard drive. It's just another IE drive. It's nothing crazy. And if you want to, I can show you a pretty similar hard drive, which was which was the previous one. So, yeah, this is the old hard drive. It's uh, yeah, not one of the best ones. It's a Maxter. 80 gig, very, very, a Diamond Plus 9, very loud hard drive. It's not so slow, but it was loud, and, uh, yeah, loud. It's not broken or anything, it hasn't got any problem, it's just loud and 54 in RPMs. So now, the hard drive I put in here, um, I actually bought, no, not, I did not buy it on purpose, I just, uh, you know, kind of fall, fell over it uh, at a flea market. I saw this hard drive, even though it's used, and uh, yeah, used hard drives, I know. Not a fan of those at all, to be honest, but I, I saw it for five bucks. It was a um, Maxter uh, Diamond Plus something. I didn't really know what it was. Um, it's 160 gigs and 7200 RPMs, so quite a lot faster than this one and on top of this it's a lot uh, more quiet so I didn't know if it's good or not because I haven't tested it out with any program yet but Windows had no troubles to install um, whole programs run fine and it doesn't do any weird stuff and uh, I will test this for of course you know check some errors like smart and stuff just you know simple stuff but I don't think it has any problems so yeah, I, I had this, I bought this at a flea market, and yeah, it, it did not have anything on it, if you're asking, it was just formatted uh, with NTFS, so, you know. Uh, yeah, this is the, key, uh, the case, not the case, the box I got it with, with these hard drive bracket things, which are pretty cool and useful. So here's the old one. And uh, yeah, I w also installed... Um, Windows Embedded POS Ray 29. I originally was going to copy just this hard drive on the other one, you know, to save me from installing all this stuff again. This was quite a lot of work and I'm still not done, but uh, yeah, then I remember this still had Windows XP on it. Well, I'll turn on the light, it's a little better. It still had XP on it, you know, XP is unsupported. And so I installed Windows Embedded. POS Ray 29, which you can see right there. So here it is. I have this computer for 120 days, which is, wow, a pretty long time for a test version. And uh, yeah, that will be fine. And uh, yeah, it's secure now, or at least it's supposed to be. I, I'm gonna install no script on Firefox, you know, because I'm gonna surf the web quite a lot on this. Um, so I really want to have security and not just, you know, that I've got my account stolen or any stupid, you know, crap gets into my system because we know this fuck if, you know, you know, if, if it's getting in touch with bad stuff and yeah. I have an antivirus installed, of course. I've got a vast free antivirus, but yeah, you know, Windows is pretty bad in these things, security, so yeah. No script is good. Uh, yeah, so that was quite an upgrade to Windows Embedded. It's now kind of secure again. And uh, I was going to try Windows Vista on this because um, 
I wanted to see how it runs, but I just don't have the time at the moment, and I might just put this in here as a second hard drive and put it on there, or just put it on there and see how it runs. But an XP like operating system that runs very fine and fast, and after all, it's just a Pentium 4 single core processor, so as you can see right there. Yeah, so yeah, that runs pretty speedy with one and a half gigs of RAM. So now I have pretty decent little low end system. If you want to say what I was wrong, um, I have now a faster hard drive, way faster hard drive with twice the storage from 80 to 160. So it has 152, but it's 160. Uh, <coughs> I have um, new a new graphics card, which is way better than the internal one. And I have one and a half gigs of RAM. So I also installed the uh, reinstalled the DVD drive in this. Um, it's uh, what is it? A Wright Master. Uh, this came out of this Power Mac. Uh, yeah, I know. But this was making some really weird stuff with the uh, second I, secondary ID of the Power Mac. So I reattached the CD drive of it and everything worked. You know, with the second hard drive I've got in here. So there's two hard drives in this G4. As you may know, it's the FF class G4. So I don't really necessarily need a DVD drive on this. So yeah, but yeah, yeah. You get it. It was making some weird stuff. I had no idea why it made no sense, but with the CD drive, it works. So, yeah. Sometimes it's not gonna boot up or just show show some kernel panic errors and stuff like this. It was just interesting. Whatever. DVD drive. It's got light scribe even. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. We got a floppy drive here. I just put that in for fun because it's supposed to go in here, but. Uh, since Apple doesn't offer floppy support on these, uh, or if it's zip, I don't know what this is supposed to be here, but this definitely looks like a uh, floppy for me. Anyway, uh, because of this, it went in here because here it's working. I'm not going to show you that because floppies are dying as hell. So I've got here one to show you how it works. Right, you put it in here, and there you go. So there's no auto run or something like this or auto play. So you go to my computer and you double click it. It's making some weird noises and here you go. Here you see a Amistos uh, startup disk. I use that to flash my bias um, from this computer. So this can finally boot from USB which is pretty cool. So. I didn't really see any differences other than that, but yeah, it's up to date now. So this is a pretty up to date system now. Well, you, you're not gonna call me, call it like this, but I'm gonna call it like this because a couple of months ago it was pretty different. Had no new graphics card. It has like had like this internal uh, with 64 megs and was having 512 megs of RAM and uh, 80 this 80 gig hard drive has always been in here. I had a CD drive and a not working floppy drive, and uh, yeah, I believe that was in. And yeah, I had an old loud CPU cooler. No, it hasn't, but this is my own construction, so here you go. That's what it looks like. Yeah, so definitely up to date compared to that what it had been, so. Yep. Hope you like you guys and I uh, will see you in the next video.